In this lesson, we are looking at translation of shapes. This is not like in languages where you change from one language to the other. Instead, it is about moving shapes. For example, if we look at this blue triangle here, it has been moved to form a red triangle. It's exactly the same shape here and here, exactly the same size, just been moved across. And that's what we're going to be looking at. If I were to look at the triangle ABC, this yellow one here, if I move it, I could make one of the other triangles, only one. I'm not allowed to flip it, I'm only allowed to push it along. So you can see I can't make it P because it's facing the opposite direction. I can't make it R because it's the wrong size. I can only make it Q by pushing it along and then up. That's translating the shape. Let's look at a couple of examples now. Let's say I was asked to move this shape four spaces right and one space down. So I've got this square here and it's got one of the points. It's, num it's already named, already labelled A here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow these instructions with point A. So I'm going to move it four spaces right. One, two, three, four. It's going to be there. And what and then one space down would be there. So that is my new point A. I'll do the same with this point. Four spaces right, and one space down. And do this the same with all my points. Okay, and then the last thing I have to do is draw the square. And this is exactly the same size as my previous shape. It has just been shifted or translated across. Now, for those who are achieving the all learning objective, that is enough. Those of you going for some or most, I'm going to show you how else it could be written. Sometimes it's written in brackets like this, where your top number tells you how far right and your bottom number tells you how far up. So in this case, it is four right. Ah, oh, but I've got a problem because it's not one up, it's one down. So I need to do the opposite of up. So I need to go minus one, I'm going minus one up. I'm going one space down. So those of you working at the high level, you'd be writing it, you'd be using it like that. And at the all, you'd be doing it like this. Let's have another look at a different example. Okay, let's say you're asked to translate this triangle by the vector, which is what it's called with the numbers on top of each other there, minus one, two. Now, first of all, we need to translate this into what this means. And we're going to remember that the top one tells us how far right and the bottom one, how far up and down. So please, can you all in your books now, copy down just this vector here with the arrows in it, okay? and write the word translate above it. Okay? Okay, so let's have a look at that. Minus one, so this tells me how far right I'm going and this tells me how far up I'm going. Well, if I'm going minus one in this direction, that's the same as one in this direction. And if I'm going two up, well, that's okay, I'm just going two up. So this really means one left, two up. So I'll do that. I'll choose a point. I'll go one left and two up. It's my new point. The same for this. One left and two up. And the same here. One left and two up. And then I will draw my new triangle. There. Of course, you would use a ruler. Okay, see if you can now give that a go.